<coughs> All right, we're gonna give this another go, you guys. This is so funny that this is happening. We are just having the worst technical difficulties of anyone ever. But that's the whole, um, that's the whole reason we're doing this. Well, it's not the whole reason. The whole reason is not to have technical difficulties. The reason is, yeah, Whitney wants to be added. I'm clicking on it. Oh my word. There we go. Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome back. Hi guys. Oh man, there you are. <laughs> Yay. Oh. Gotta love it. Crazy. Spontaneity, right? God. Oh, that's hilarious. I was like, this <laughs> is not happening again. Oh, didn't we just try this like 30 seconds ago and it worked we fine? Have <laughs> yeah, we've tried about a billion times. Hi, Mariah. Mm -hmm. Yay, guys. Thanks for. You guys are good people. You're just good friends. I like you guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming on. And uh, yeah, last week we tried to launch and Facebook and Instagram worldwide were down. So we're shutting down the internet with our with the excitement about this. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm going to go ahead and kick things off. Um, as an official start off to the series. Um, this is what do we know with when and with where we will bring perspective, inspiration and education about some hot topics and try to meet somewhere in the middle, right? Um, as an official kickoff, we're gonna be giving away a free self-care gift. So that's really exciting because you can't seize the day if you don't take care of yourself, right? Uh, to be entered to win, like this post, this live video, share it, a public uh, page so that we can see that it's been shared. And then the only other requirement is to follow us both on Instagram. Wendy's Instagram handle is a.wendy.bird and mine is Whitney Janelle 28. So we will um, randomly select a winner based on who participates in those terms and we'll announce during our next what do we know next week. Yay. Make sure you tag us when you share it so we see that you shared it. Yes, yes, totally. Um, and just as a little disclaimer, this promotion is in no way endorsed by Facebook or Instagram, obviously. Uh, with that being said, I'll go ahead and introduce myself for those of you that don't know me. Um, my name is Whitney, and I am a mom to my son, Dylan, and my precious fur baby, Rizzo. I am a wife and a steadfast entrepreneur, still learning the ropes, uh, and I live in Northern California. Yay. And if you don't know me, my name is Wendy. And I am also a wife. We're actually coming up on 11 years. I'm a mom. I have three kid of it. I have a seven-year-old, a five-year-old, and a three-year-old. I own a business. I am a blogger. I am an author, and I'm a speaker. I do lots of things. I wear lots of hats, and I live in Middle Rose. Tennessee. Uh, and I live in Northern California. And now Jeez. it's echoing. Sorry, I'm just trying to pause the video. I wanted to make sure it was playing correctly on my okay. screen. Is there still an echo? Nope. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. That was you guys, <laughs> thanks you. Now that we've got that out of the way, I'm so excited you guys are here. This is only a little bit scary. Uh, but today, <laughs> actually enough, we're going to be talking about seizing the freaking day. Seize the day is the title of this little installment. And we figured it would be a good place to start because we obviously do not know exactly what we're doing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're, <laughs> we're not Facebook Live experts. Um, we do not know what this will become, but we just didn't want to wait to figure it all out. We went, I'll totally give credit. Wit had this idea and I was like, you know, I'm in, and, uh, <laughs> we just have kind of started talking about, okay, what could we call it? What could this be about? Um, but the, we just decided to start, well, we decided to start last week, but as you know, like the internet shut down. So th that's what we're going to talk about a little bit today is what can stand in the way of you seizing the day. And sometimes it's the um, Facebook and Instagram shutting down. Sometimes that can stand <laughs> in the way of you seizing mm -hmm. the day. But we figure why wait? That's kind of a, a motto. That's just a personal motto that I have um, is why wait? What are you waiting for? Right? And I fully am a big Brene Brown supporter and believe that vulnerability is contagious. And so mm -hmm. we are willing to be here um, to fall and to fail right in front of you on live Facebook. 
Um, so that we can grow a little bit, you guys, because you cannot grow without failing, without falling a little bit. You'll, you would never learn to walk if you didn't embrace that you're going to spend a lot of time on your booty, right? Um, <laughs> and we're going to do it in front of you. And our hope is to show you that it's okay to do brave things and to do scary things and to know that, you know what, some people are going to judge it and some people are going to think things and we just can't control all that. It is a part of life and there is no need to fear that. Or I should say, you can fear it. And we're going to talk about that a little bit too. You are allowed to feel fear, but I would encourage you to not let fear stop you from doing scary things and brave mm -hmm. things because who the heck knows who you might inspire by doing the crazy brave things, right? So what we're doing here generally, you know, with this show or series, series. whatever you want to call it, is um, we want to create something of our own. And I was talking to a friend of mine that I knew in college um, about, I was complimenting him on his, him and his wife have created this really unique way of, of doing um, real estate. And when I was telling him about it, I thought, that's so cool that you guys are doing this. And he said, we just want to create something of our own. And I thought, oh, that's exactly what we're doing here. We're, we just want to create something of our own. And we're not the only ones that do things that are on Facebook Live. That's not what I'm trying to say. But this is just um, for us to, to give to you what we've learned. And we just mm -hmm. want to discuss what we don't know. And that's kind of where we came up with the title of what do we know? Because we know some things, so we're going to figure out what we do know. But generally, what do we know, right? This is all just our own speculation and what, we, what we're going to chat about and cover. And we would love to invite you in to comment, to privately message us, tell us what you want us to talk about, what your thoughts are, what, what this you know, spurs in your thinking pattern. We want to do this with you. We want to involve you guys and just kind of gain some perspective and figure this out. So please ask questions, weigh in, share this with others, send us messages, whatever you want. Um, again, just this is all a little bit of housekeeping. So forgive me for, I won't drawn on this much on every, every little go. But um, as individuals, obviously we're sisters. If you haven't figured that out, um, <laughs> we're both moms. We're both business owners. Um, we're both really hilarious. So just stick around. Obviously. For that. Totally. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we're very passionate about the things that we pursue, but we're also very different. We lean in different directions in political stances. We lean in different directions in our spiritual life. We live across the country from each other. So our lives could not be more very daily different. Our experiences are very different day to day. So this idea of, um, you know, literally meeting in the middle of where her experience lies and where my experience lies and literally meeting in the middle in the country, right? Like <laughs> we're across the country from each other. So we want to invite you to meet us in that middle place and kind of just navigate the waters together with in respect and love for each other. So, so let's talk. How do we see today? <laughs> what does that look like other than two attempts at a Facebook live? What does that look like to seize the day sister? <laughs> Well, I, I really think that seizing the day requires just taking the first step without kind of knowing what the other steps would be. You know, you just kind of have to take a leap of faith and go after it, go after those things that you really want to accomplish in the day, right? Um, I love the quote, a journey of a thousand steps begins with a single one, right? So just get to step in, I say. I love that. I love that idea. <laughs> And yeah, I mean, like we said, we have a little um, very professional, this comes from Whitney's expertise, a Google sheet, where we have collaborated some ideas. Fancy. That's super. My collaboration <laughs> involves post-its and, um, you know, very disorganized um, actions. But the point being action, right? Seizing the day requires action. And you guys, um, procrastination is such a, um, the next question is what stops us, right? What stops us from seizing the day? So if we can just capture the fact that seizing the day is taking action, taking a step, be it a little step or a big step, um, what stops us? And it's almost immediate. If you've ever, if you've ever had a thought <laughs> and you're like, I'm going to do that thing. And then you're like, no, I'm not. I mean, every right. morning, every time I go to bed at night, I think I'm going to set an alarm and I'm going to like every night, <laughs> but if you know me, I'm like the opposite of a morning person. So mm -hmm. like every night when I'm laying down and I, it, it's just as easy to click on my little alarm clock. 
I just, you know, ah, maybe tomorrow. Like, I'm just, you know, today's not the day. Like, I'm not going to see us this day, right? Like, that's the first. It's immediate <laughs> where this, all these things that stop us get in our way, right? So what do you Maybe think? I'll seize the day tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tomorrow's a day. I'll just seize Tomorrow's a good day for that. <laughs> exactly, which procrastination, right? Who is it? Oh, it's Mel freaking Robbins, if you guys have read the five yeah. second rule. She talks about procrastination being a, um, a stress manager, right? Isn't that so interesting? Like a, a tool for managing anxiety. Um, and I am, I am full disclosure OCD, like diagnosable OCD. And so when I get overwhelmed, I go into all these little weird things that I need to do to like control my anxiety. And none of them have to do with taking any action steps in my life. All, they have to do with like dishes and folding laundry and not that these are not action steps they are but not they're safe the, yeah <laughs> they're not they're safe no risk and absolutely not a priority when you look at the grand scheme of what i want to accomplish in my life those are big tools that i go to to procrastinate and it's an anxiety yep. it's an anxiety um mechanism for me so what do you think Wait, what are some of the things that stop us uh, well, first of all, hi, Andrea. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, That's awesome. You're in Cabo. Oh, my gosh. Send pics, please. She stays in the day, all right. <laughs> and uh, just as a, a side note, if you guys are liking what we're talking about or if you think we're totally crazy, just give us some love anyway. We would definitely appreciate it. <laughs> this is scary. <laughs> but we're doing it anyway. Um, you talked about procrastination. I'd say that's definitely a main reason, but also fear. Mm. Uh, and you were talking about that a little bit earlier, but my favorite mantra these days is feel the fear and do it anyway, <laughs> because it will hang you up every single time. It is like something that our brain is predisposed to do is like self-preservation, right? So when you go outside of your comfort zone, your brain instantly says, oh, no, 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 go back, go back. Like, this is not safe. Um, but safe isn't the right word for it. Your body and your brain don't know what safe really is. You are safe when you go out of your comfort zone. It just doesn't feel that way, you know? Mm -hmm. So and I feel like fear is definitely a big thing. Fear doesn't go, go away. Ahead. That's it. Right. Like, fear Ever. doesn't go away. <laughs> like, you right. can't seize it, you know, like maybe tomorrow I'll seize it because like I'll be less afraid. No, not real, right? Like, and maybe... Right. I think there's a big um, element of between fear and mindset. And I didn't really know mm -hmm. they were different until I kind of walked into the world of personal development. But there is a total strong correlation between fear and your mindset. But there's definitely a very powerful difference. And that kind of takes us to the next question of how do we overcome fear in order to see right. the day, right? is, you know, you have to find that, okay, fear and your mindset are connected, but they're, they split. So what, to overcome that fear, you have to overwrite it with your mindset, right? With your self-talk. And okay, we all have a mean girl. I'm actually listening to two books right now because I'm just on a like fiend. I'm fiending for books right now. I'm just feeding my brain. I'm reading um, Girls Stop Apologizing, Rachel Hollis. Uh, woot woot. Yep. And uh, that is the sequel to her book, Girl, Wash Your Face. If you haven't read the first, read the first. And then I also just started um, Mastering Your Mean Girl. And I can't, Melissa something or other. I can't remember her name. I should write that <laughs> down. I'm, I'll put it on a post-it. Um, <laughs> mastering Your Mean Girl. We all have a mean girl or guy in our brain that is like, oh, yeah, you, you shouldn't do that. Oh, yeah, I know you're definitely going to fail at that. Oh, yeah, definitely don't do that. You're stupid. You don't have – I'm walking into – just in my personal life, I'm walking kind of into a brand new space and something that I'm going to pursue. Obviously, this is part of that. And I don't know about you, Wit, but, like, massive self-talk of, like, people are going to think oh my this gosh. is self-indulgent. This is – people are just going to think this is for you. This is so showy. This is, like, you know – self-centered ego blah 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 like that's your mean mm -hmm. girl or your mean right? guy like that's your mindset that is you gotta you gotta put some serious duct tape over that chick or dude in your brain. right well and on along those same lines a lot of the hang-ups are our past or our future it's it's something that you did wrong in the past or wrong in the past 
that is preventing you from being confident about what you're doing now, or it's this worry about the future that if you worry enough, it'll make your future more safe and secure and predictable. But that, that isn't real. That is a total fallacy. So you got to just be stronger than your fear. You got to make your mindset a lot stronger than your fear to seize the day, really. Like every day you have to seize the day and put your mindset in the right spot. You know, you said confidence, and I have to credit my dear friend, Tori Hine. Um, she did a whole teaching, and I've mentioned this so many times, about confidence and how it is not a personality trait. Like, newsflash, mm -hmm. I hear that all the time. People are like, oh, I'm just not confident. I'm not confident. I'm like, ah, uh ah, -uh, you're not choosing confidence, right? And this, I'm speaking to myself here. Boom. Because there are so many areas in my life where I am confident. I didn't start confident, but I've become confident with experience, <laughs> right? And then there, you put me at a park with a, another mom, and I'm like the weirdest, introverted, <laughs> like social, anxious, weird person. Like, I, that's just not my comfort zone, not my space to like talk to strangers and like strike up a conversation. Luckily, I married my mm -hmm. husband. He counterbalances this in me. <laughs> but um, I am deciding to choose confidence in those moments. And, and the visual, if you can go with me on this, because I'm a visual person, literally putting on confidence. I mean, like think of putting on your clothes in the morning to get out of your jammies and to get into clothes. Like it's a process. You don't just wake up and you're ready for your day. You're ready to go to work, ready to do whatever. You have to take off your jammies. So you have to jammies. Let's I love you calling them jammies. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have Are you talking to your children right now? <laughs> Take off your jammies, right? Take them off. So take off self-doubt, self -doubt, take off fear, take off that in an intentional way and put on your confidence clothes, right? Just, it takes mm -hmm. like five seconds of bravery. Again, Mel Robbins, five seconds of bravery to be like, you know what? It took, it took a minute like for me to type in, which now I don't even have on this video because I'll have to go back and edit it. <laughs> it took me just a minute to type in my little thing and punch live, right? And now what we're on here, it's like, well, Oh, well, like, here we are, you know, you just have right. to have those five seconds of courage to overcome the fear or the self doubt or whatever. And then you don't feel it, it kind of dwindles because you have this power of energy and excitement. Right, right. Well, and I think having a bit of like a, a anchored purpose, like a strong reason why you want to seize the day or reach your goals, whatever those may be. Uh, case in point today, we couldn't even get on live the first try, you know, we're not exactly ready or polished. <laughs> or even know what we'll talk about next week, to be honest. Um, but we do want to help people. We do want to inspire people. Um, we want to kind of challenge ourselves. So we, we dove in, you know, and that's kind of what it takes is just diving in, knowing full force that if you really want it and you really act on it, you can accomplish your dreams. You know, you can accomplish some really big things and make an impact. So our last question to consider is, what do we stand to lose? by seizing the day and by taking action. And it would be easy. It would be an easy answer for us to say, nothing, you have nothing to lose, but I don't want to be all sunshine and roses. Like there are legitimate things that are at risk. Let's say, you know, whether they be real things or made up things, right. There are things that we are risking, right. I, I know, like we just mm -hmm. talked about coming on and doing something like this for sure. You're risking judgment. You're risking your reputation, your yeah. reputation. People are going to know. We don't know what the heck we're doing. Like there's, <laughs> but a we do <laughs> confidence close. What do we know? What do we know? What do you'll, you'll figure that out. It's not you'll a lot. see. It's not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there are things at stake. And, um, I, uh, oh gosh, who was it? Brene. I just finished uh, Rising Strong. Just finished that like two days oh, ago. I'm uh, reading Brene that one. Brown. So good. She was talking about, I want you to write on a, on a one centimeter by one centimeter piece of paper the amount of people whose opinion actually matter to you. And if you need a bigger piece of paper, then you're, that's not real. Like we need to really hmm. um, get clear on who matter, you know, not who matters, because of course, we want to matter to you guys, we want to make an impact all of that. But if you allow a huge sheet of papers worth of opinions, to dictate your choices, and you know, how you feel about yourself and what action you take in your life, man, you stand to lose a whole lot more 
than right. people's opinion of you, right? Like, oh my gosh, think about that, right? Flip that switch for a hot second. Think about what you stand to lose if you don't take action. That wasn't even one of our questions, but man, that's a whole <laughs> flip of perspective on that question, right? <laughs> Off the cuff, Wendy, that we didn't talk about that. I'm <laughs> going rogue. <laughs> but yeah, that's definitely true. And I think something that you stand to lose is letting failure define you. I mean, letting your fears and your fear of, of failing dictate your life instead of, you know, turning again, flipping the switch and just taking what you know to be true, knowing you have what it takes and really believing that. You know, there are people everywhere that are less qualified than you that are making an impact, like for sure. And guess what? They're probably failing forward, but they're doing it. And that's why we're doing it too. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's power numbers. Yep. <laughs> and at least if we go down, yes. both sisters go down. <laughs> <laughs> we're I mean, why not live an extraordinary man. life? <laughs> Let's live. Let's both of it. us have different family names now by the way you have your married name and I have my married name but yes I get you well now we're looping in innocent bystanders in our in our plummet, <laughs> in our potential plummet I love it so yeah I know that at the end of our lives um studies show that what you regret and what you actually stand to lose leaving this life is all the things you didn't do all the things mm -hmm. you didn't do, right? And I don't mean to say yes to everything because I just literally blogged about that last night. There is such a thing as too much yes. But man, there is absolutely more of a thing of too much no. You know, just saying no, feeling fear, not taking action, stepping down, stepping backwards, mm -hmm. letting that giant list of people's opinions really dictate what decisions you're going to make in your life, right? Um, mm -hmm. man, we stand, to, we stand to leave a lot on the table here. If we don't, right. if we don't seize the day, if we don't take action, if we don't make an impact, right? Right. Nobody's going to care about your dreams or your goals or your days more than you. So it's kind of on you to, to do what you got to do to make it best, the best it can be. Right. Oh, and Emily, I see that you're watching Emily Wright shared with me, um, yesterday, a quote from Mel Robbins, again, just that idea that I need you to listen real closely to this. No one's coming. It's up to you, right? Like, oh, that impacted me oh, wow. so much. Like, no one's coming. It's up to you. Like, if you want your life to look different, if you want to do that scary thing or be a writer or be an entrepreneur or be a stay-at-home mom or whatever, no own one, it. No one's coming in to be like, well, let me help you with that, right? It is it is in your hands. It is up to you. And at the end of the day, we are left with what we, what we did and what we didn't do. Right. And which mm -hmm. one do you want to like weigh you down? Wow. That's a powerful one to end on. So I'm just <laughs> going to let you say that. Um, so, so I'm going to wrap it up here and just go ahead and say, you know, this obviously was our first series kickoff. Um, and it's what do we know? So hopefully there was some stuff that we did know that you found important. Um, there's still a lot that we don't know. I mean, we have fears, we have hesitations, we hit that alarm clock, you know, just as much as anyone else. But we're you mean the snooze because I don't hit the alarm clock. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a little aggressive in the mornings. <laughs> but um, that being said, I just wanted to remind everyone that um, if you want to participate in our self-care giveaway, uh, what you do is you like this post, share it uh, on your personal network, on your personal page, and tag us in that so we can find your shared post. And then follow us on Instagram. Wendy's handle is a.wendybird, wendy.bird, and mine is WhitneyJanelle28. We will announce the winner next week. And the topic Yay. for next week is to be determined. Because we'll that's how it. we do. <laughs> <laughs> We're open to so, suggestions. Yeah. We're open to suggestions. Please send us yes. thoughts. Thanks, and guys. Thank you guys so much for coming on. So exciting. We'll see you same time next week. And we'll be just as exciting as this is. <laughs> we promise. <laughs> we'll get it right the first time. <laughs> We'll, we'll do our best. Bye, guys. Yes, Thank yes. you. Bye.